Hi, this is Tom Barkley, Senior Product Manager for Flash Professional, and welcome to another sneak peek of coming attractions. This week we're going to be talking about on-device debugging. So last week we talked about creating an error application and publishing it directly to the device. Uh, now you want to be able to take that a step further and actually test and debug it on the device so you can see if the native capabilities such as use of the accelerometer, GPS, camera, and other capabilities you can access through air um, are providing the right input. And so we can test that out in debug mode. Um, so to do that, we'll have a simple example here of a ball that moves around um, using the accelerometer. So we set up an accelerometer hammer here that picks up the accelerometer update event. And on every frame, it's moving the ball based on that input. It's moving the X and Y position. And so what I wanna do is test to see um, when that hit happens, when the ball is hitting the right side of the screen, at which point it will reverse direction and bounce off. Um, so I'm gonna put a breakpoint in the code right here on line 20. If that will do that test, it'll stop there. And then I'm gonna set up two trace statements that I'm gonna, I can step through the code um, to get those trace statements back, including the exact ball position um, at that breakpoint. So now that I've got this set up, I can go up to debug and see the new option here to debug on device via USB. I click debug and it's gonna package it up in debug mode and uh, publish it um, to the device over USB and automatically install and run the application and start sending us information back to the debug mode in Flash Pro. So Flash Pro is flipped over to the debug mode and you can see now on the device, we've got the ball, it's moving around, showing that the acceler accelerometer events are working. Now, if I move the ball to the right side, it's gonna stop. See, now it's stopped uh, because I've set a breakpoint. So it's obviously hit this if statement, testing for the ball hitting the right side of the screen. Uh, and now I can step through the code um, and show how you can get those trace statements back. So if I do the step in, uh, it takes you down to the next line and one more to take you through that line. You can see now we're back in the output panel, we've got the ball hit the right side of the screen. So we've got that trace statement and hit it again. And you can see that we've got the exact X, Y position information. And so if I did put that X, Y trace statement up here, I could actually show in real time as I'm moving the ball around the exact position of the ball. So a great way to be able to test your content on the device and get real time information back while you to help you debug and to uh, optimize your code very quickly. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for more sneak peeks.